Hello travelers, today we're taking a look at two bags from Nightcore. The first is the SLB04, which is a small 1.5 litre thin sling bag that weighs 135 grams or 0.3 pounds. At the top are two attachment points, which I'll get into later, uh, and three zippered compartments. It is advertised as being able to be used in three different ways. The first is carrying it directly, and the second is as a chest bag attached to the backpack straps of the backpack, for example, the BP23, and lastly as a sling bag, slinging it over your shoulder on its own. I can see this bag being great as a tech carry packing cube for inside your main bag, or as a transit bag for using while you're on the plane or transiting through the airport for carrying small items such as a passport, power bank, or a few other essentials. And now for the BP23, this is a 23 litre, 1030 gram or 2.3 pound backpack with an interesting design and a lot of compartments for everyday carry. It would also make a great travel bag. Taking a look at the bag, you'll see that it has a Velcro flap at the top on the front, and it's a lot like the BP18 that I previously reviewed from Nightcore. But unlike the BP18, the flap gives you access to the front compartment, which is more for flat items and smaller accessory storage. It, like the BP-18, also has two zips on either side for quick access. The front of the flap also has a soft side Velcro strip, which you can put patches to customize your bag. There's also another Velcro strip on the bottom of the bag for further customization. At the top of the flap is a zippered felt line pocket, which is great for sunglasses. The very front of the bag also has a water resistant slash pocket, for small items as well. And as you can see all over the bag, there are a lot of Molly Web strap points to attach various items or a carabiner or a hero clip as you can see I use it for here. There's a grab handle on the top and both sides of the bag, which makes it very useful for putting into and taking it out of an overhead compartment on airline traveling or just in general for grabbing it when you're picking it up. Taking a look into the front compartment, you'll see it has nice contrasting orange lining that helps small items stand out from inside the bag. There are two pockets on either side and a soft side Velcro for attaching other accessories or Velcro backed pockets that you might have. The interesting thing about these pockets is that they're overlapped with each other so they don't pass all the way through to the other side as it would appear. So in reality there's actually four pockets and they are accessed by zipping either side of this compartment. Behind the pockets is also another deep slip pocket for thin items. Into the main compartment you'll see more lovely contrasting orange lining. The laptop compartment which supports up to a 15.6 inch laptop and two internal pockets which I found useful for a small travel umbrella or a water bottle but you can also store a power bank or other small items here. There's a zippered mesh pocket in the front of the flap and in front of the laptop sleeve is another small pocket which is ideal for an iPad or a tablet. And finally there are two additional mesh pockets which would be great for charging cables or other accessories. In terms of the capacity I was able to fit my usual travel gear into this bag including my laptop, camera cue, toiletries and clothing cube. I still had a little bit of room to spare and it felt very comfortable to carry in this way. The bag is stated to be water resistant and weatherproof zips do help against water ingress but the main compartment zippers aren't weatherproof zips so I'm not sure how much I would trust using this in a heavy rain pour. I think the bag will probably be fine for light rain and splashes but probably not for heavy sustained downpour. Now let's talk about the comfort of the straps. I have been testing this bag packed with different weights and items and I found the straps to be very comfortable for extended periods of time. Clipping the sternum strap increased the comfort as well. The sternum straps can be removed from the backpack and the actual backpack straps themselves can be unclipped quickly and easily with a buckle at the bottom and they can be then threaded through the velcro loop on the back which also serves for carrying the bag on a rolling suitcase as you can see here. Overall I have found it to be a very great bag for everyday travel and has a variety of pockets that allow for a lot of different packing options. Do leave a comment below what you think of this bag's design and be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with future videos.